Hey, you guys, it's Miss Alexander. And today we are working with module three, lesson 27. And this is with Engage New York. And our objective is to represent and solve three digit dividend division with divisors of two, three, four, and five numerically. So let's go look at our vocabulary words. We have the divisor, we have the dividend, we have the quotient and the remainder. Hopefully you guys remember what these are. So we're gonna start off with the divisor. The divisor is on the outside of our division sign. And the divisor is telling us how many are in a group, okay? Then we have the dividend. And the dividend is in the inside of the division sign telling us, hey, this is what I have in total. And then we have the quotient. The quotient is on top of our division sign. And this is telling us how many groups we have. And then we have our remainder. And our remainder is telling us, ready? This is what we have left over. We don't have enough to create a full group. So these are little ones that stay by themselves. So we're gonna go down and do a couple problems. Here are the steps for the division. It's same things that I'll be walking you through. So right here, we have 346 divided by two. The 346 is our dividend, so we put that on the inside of our division problem, and then we have two right here. I'm gonna jump into the facts, and we need to write them out. There's a few ways you could do this. You could write it out so it says two times one equals two, two times two equals four, but if you don't want to do all that and you know your multiplication facts for two especially, I'll show you another way you could be doing this. Ready? Just write them out. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18. And if you don't like your handwriting, which is fine and I understand, you can always go to the text box and remember there's a good chance you might have to adjust your text box so it's not so long. And then pick the font you want. And we know Mrs. Alexander is a little particular and that's okay. And then just write them out. So I'm gonna do it like this here. So you can see two, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. It's the same thing handwritten or typed, whichever one that works best for you. I'm gonna hit save and close. And now we're gonna try, we're gonna solve this problem. Two goes into three, how many times? If we look over here, we see that three is in between two and four. So we'll take the number that's smaller, which is two. And if I count, it's one. Now remember to figure out what number I put in my quotient. All I have to count is to that number, watch. So two times one is two, two times two is four, two times three is six, two times four is eight. So look at that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So as long as I count the digits, the numbers, you'll get the number you need. So we know we wanna put a one here, one times two, over here we write a two, three minus two is one, as usual, we're gonna bring the four down. I know you're going, Miss Alexander, there's another number. It's okay, you guys, leave the six alone. We're not gonna deal with the six until we're done with the 14, okay? So two goes into 14, how many times? I see that 14's right here, so I'm gonna quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here in the quotient, I'm gonna write seven. Seven times two is 14. 14 minus 14 is zero. And look, you guys, I haven't touched the six. I'm gonna bring it all the way down. Now I'm gonna work with the six. Two goes into six how many times? I see I have a six, so I'm gonna quick count. One, two, three. The three goes in my quotient. Three times two is six. And six minus six is zero. And now we're gonna take this 173 and we need to multiply it by two. Let's go see if we did it right. So I'm gonna check my work. Okay, make sure we're scribbling you guys. 
So I have 173, and we're going to multiply it by 2. So we have 2 times 3, which is 6. 2 times 7, which is 14. I drop my 1. I, I'm sorry, I drop the 4. I carry the 1. I have 2 times 1, which is 2 plus 1, which is 3. So my dividend should be 346. And right now I'm looking at this one right here and right here, and I see that we did it correctly. So let's go to one more practice problem. We have 483 divided by 3. So my 483 goes on the inside of my division, telling me it's the dividend, and the 3 is my divisor. I'm going to jump into my facts because I've got to write down my 3s. I'm going to go ahead and scribble. So I have 3 times 1 equals 3. 3 times 2 equals 6. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please be aware you could be doing this as a tax and writing and typing it, whichever works best for you. Right now, I have the ability to use my finger, and I like being a little more hands-on. So that's the reason I usually like to write it. If I'm using my mouse, it's a little harder and it takes me longer. So I tend to type. So it depends how I'm using my computer to how this goes. But right now, I have the ability to use my finger, which is a little more hands-on. And that's the reason I'm doing it this way. Okay, once I get it done, look, I wrote the problems out so that I can remember. It makes it a little easier. If you know them, just write out the, the actual facts. So I'm looking at this three. How many times three go into four? I see three and six. So I'm going to take the three right here, and that's one. So we're going to go one times three is three. Four minus three is one. I'm going to bring down the eight. Remember, we'll get to the three in a minute. Let's first do the eight. Three goes into 18. So I'm going to go down. I have three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. I have an 18, and it is six. So right up here in the quotient, I'm going to write 6. 6 times 3 is 18. So I'm going to do 18. 18 minus 18 is 0. Now I'm going to do my 3, you guys. I'm going to bring that 3 down. 3 goes into 3 how many times? I see that 3 goes into 3 one time because it's the same number. 1 times 3 is 3. And 3 minus 3 is 0. So now we get to check our work. We have 161 and we're multiplying by three. So here we go. Make sure we hit the scribble. So I do 161 and I'm multiplying it by three. Three times one is three. Three times six is 18. I'm dropping my eight. I'm carrying my one. Three times one is three plus one is four. So I'm looking at the answer I got and looking at this one over here and see that they match. So great job, you guys. We did this problem correctly. Remember, as you're doing this, to take your time. Make sure you've got your multiplication facts so you can do this easier. Make sure you get it into your quotient and make sure you're subtracting. Have fun with it. And remember, as you're doing it, to smile, giggle, and wiggle. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.